I think a show deserves a review. So recently at my grandparents' camp, I it was rainy. And I turned it to the Cartoon Network and Sonic Boom was on. I've seen the show many times, yet plenty of the, this show is probably the most clever comedically on Cartoon Network. That's right. I find it funnier than Gumball. I find it funnier than We Bear Bears. I find it funnier than Teen Titans Go. Who doesn't? I find this show to be one of the funniest shows I've seen in a long time. And the show is great. Okay? I I really like it. I haven't seen all the episodes, and I'm working through it right now. The episodes I've judged this review on, basically, like the ones that I've reviewed um so far or worked with so far was eggheads and don't judge me both were great episodes in my opinion eggheads because it kind of establishes the laws of the show and the show is a master of subversion like master like so basically in the episode eggheads Sonic's friends, um, and who I'll get to them later, um, have turned into, like, Eggman clones, and Eggman's the only one left. Sonic, you, cause they, they use cookies and stuff, and <laughs> the methods they use are hilarious on this show. Um, they use a cookie and turn Eggman into a Sonic, pretty much, to fight them. And... The versions are awesome. And then they make cookies out of out of Sonic's friends' items and stuff, and then turn them back. That and then they got annoyed by Eggman, so they turn him back. <laughs> it's a scenario that really works comedically, and the show's got a huge, huge edge up comedically. First of all, let me just say that the show is a version humor, and a bit of fourth wall slash, um, ever seen that show, Dave the Barbarian? It's not as good as that show is about refer self, um, referential humor, but it's really good in that category, too. Like, in the courtroom episode, um, they were asking, um, like, one of Eggman's robots, would you say that, um, would you say that Sonic has battled Eggman on many, many occasions, to the point of it being formulaic? Which I got a huge kick out of. The show does not miss a moment to make a joke. Really. It's all about sending them at you, and not being slapstick. That's right, this show so far has very little slapstick. It's a lot more written gags and stuff. And it's not just, I mean, it's a master at its humor. I really recommend it if you want a good taste of humor. And basically, they have six characters I'll talk about, okay? First of all, there's Styx, who's probably my least, hmm, I don't enjoy that much because of her slightly annoying voice, but she's more of a tomboyish girl on it, and she can be quite enjoyable. Knuckles it has been turned into a dumb muscle character, kind of a character, and it's played to their advantage, like, he's probably dumber than Patrick. Yeah, I'm saying that. Amy is a, a typical more girl girlish, but more on the tomboy edge. Tails is pretty much a genius child, and he's amazing, and he, I love him, I don't play the games, but I just love him as a character, and then Sonic, who they've turned from being like a really super hyperactive kind of character, to a rather calm character, in fact, the calmest character on the main show, he plays a straight man surprisingly amazing, and Eggman is a very formidable villain with very goofy henchmen and stuff. So, how's the animation on this show? Some of the best animation I've seen on TV. 
that's right, this CGI is amazing what they're able to do. Just how smooth and clean it is for it. It's the only rival for best CGI show, in my opinion, CGI wise, is Star Wars Rebels, which is my second favorite show on TV right now. So, thanks for watching my review of Sonic Boom. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to me. The more people that watch a, a video, the more people, the more likely I am to actually do a review of it, of something else like it. And trust me, I want to start doing some more Teen Titans Go rants. Oh yeah, I'm going there. Anyway, see you soon, YouTube. And with a Teen Titans Go rant. Oh yeah, I'm going there.